Hey you guys and welcome back to Upgrade Addiction. On this video I'm just going to be giving you guys a quick tour on my second system. In one of my earlier videos I mentioned that I have my main PC which is this one here and there's a video detailing what's in that but I'll give you guys a quick tour and overview of my backup system as well. So let's take a look. Okay, so here it is. So this is an overall shot of how I've got it set up. Nothing too fancy. Uh, basically, the screen is the screen that featured in my other video last week, which is the Cunix QX 2710. The resolution is 2560 by 1440 at 100Hz. The mouse is the Logitech G502 Spectrum. Um, just with the LED set at red. Obviously, this is another red theme. The keyboard is the Kingston HyperX FPS alloy keyboard, which is a mechanical keyboard with Cherry MX Blues and just red backlights. I'll take you in closer to the system and I'll explain the specs of that as well. All right, so here's the actual uh, tower itself. So let's start off with the obvious. The case is the BitPhoenix Prodigy uh, ITX version, obviously red and black. Um, it's the windowed panel as well, and before I forget to mention, the window isn't actually in there. I had to take it out because the, the graphics card is two and a half slot, and this case is really only suitable for a dual slot card. Um, so the actual glass was contacting with the fans on the graphics card, so I took them off. No, I took the, the glass out and sat it aside, and, but I happen to think it looks pretty cool even just without the glass, and I guess it helps with um, airflow to the card as well. So the motherboard in this one is the ASUS Z170 Pro ITX board. The CPU is an i5-6600K, which is currently clocked to uh, 4.6 gigahertz. The cooler is... Uh, Cooler Master Hyper 212X, which has a thermal take ring fan on it, and you can see in the back there There's also a 140 mil ring fan just to try and keep the same look throughout You can see obviously the graphics card has a similar look um, The fan in the front of this is a 230 mil, but not a ring style just a default Kind of um, LED fan. There's no optical drive in this system The RAM I've got is 8 gigabytes of Corsair LPX DDR4, which is 200, uh, sorry, 2666 megahertz. Graphics card is a Gigabyte Extreme Gaming 980 Ti, which is pretty massively overclocked at the moment. It's around 1581 megahertz on the core. The power supply running all of it is a Be Quiet Pure Power 9, 600 watt, silver rated, which is not the best power supply you can get, but it does, um, I mean, for the money, it was, it was a perfect uh, option for this system. The hard drive setup in here is pretty basic. There's just one solid state drive. It's a Samsung 850 Evo 500 gig. Uh, that pretty well gives you an idea of the system itself. It's a really, really, I mean, it, it's a really powerful little rig. I don't use it a heck of a lot at the moment, but when I have LANs here, it'll, I guess it'll be handy for one of the guys to use this instead of having to lug their machine around. But I really, really like the way it turned out. It's a really clean little system. Um, and I really like the way that it looks. So that's, I guess, an overview on the tower itself. So there you go, now you've had a look at it. Let's just take a look at a few benchmarks and we can get some performance numbers. This is a Chucky Beat production. So there you go guys, that was a quick look at my secondary system. If you've got any questions, uh, put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to address them. Um, I didn't sort of mention why I've got two. This the reason was my production. previous build to this one was actually in a Corsair 750D and it had a custom loop in it. Um, I got a little bit tired of that case and I was looking around for something different. I saw the Core P3 and um, I was also interested in doing a mini ITX build as well. Now I'd never done a mini ITX build and um, I sort of thought, well, the Core P3 is something very different. So I did that first, but I still really wanted to do an ITX build and that's where this one came to be. So that's the reason I've got two. So uh, like I said, 
got any questions, please put them in the comments below. I'll do my best to, to address each of them if I can. And please, if you like this, uh, like this video and you like my content, remember to subscribe and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.